In 1973 the first ever mobile phone call was made by Dr. Motorola employee in New York using a prototype Dynatac phone. Cooper called his friend who worked at rival AT&T. The phone weighed over a kilogram and took 10 hours to charge. In 1979 Japan has always been at the forefront of technology and in 1979 they launched the first ever commercially available automated cellular network. It was however only available in cars. We now call this 1G. In 1983 the first mobile phone goes on sale in the shape of the Motorola Dynatac 8000X. It cost an eye-watering $4000 USD. In 1985, Michael Harrison made the first ever mobile phone call in the UK. He called his father, the then chairman of Vodafone, Sir Ernest Harrison. Eighty nine, the first ever truly portable mobile phone hits the shelves, the Motorola 9800X, which features a flip down to cover the keypad. In 1991, GSM Global System for Mobile Communications phone launched, and 2G digital cellular networks replaced the 1G analog system. 2G made text messages, picture messages and multimedia messages MMS possible, creating a whole new way for people to communicate in 1992. Neil Papworth sent the first ever text message to Vodafone director Richard Jarvis's Orbitel TPU 901 phone. It read, Happy Christmas. In 1994, IBM brought out the Simon, which had a touch screen and a very early form of what we all know today as apps. It cost $899 and only worked in 15 states in the U.S. Nokia also launched the 2110 in Europe. It was one of the smallest GSM phones available in a choice of ringtones which brought us the iconic Grande Vals, now known as the Nokia Tune. 1996 The first ever phone with the slider form factor came in the shape of dot the Nokia 8110. It had the nickname the banana phone due to its shape and even made an appearance on the big screen in the Matrix. It was also the first device to feature a monochrome LCD screen. Another first came from the Motorola StarTech as the first ever flip phone or clamshell device. It sold over 60 million units worldwide. In 1997, the iconic game Snake is launched on the Nokia 6110, which marks the start of mobile gaming. Haganook launched the Global Handy with no external aerial. Ericsson brought out colored keyboard panels and Siemens brought us the first colored screen phone, the S10. In the UK, Mercury 121 started the first ever pay-as-you-go to services called up to you It allowed customers to top up their call credit and later became T-Mobile and then EE. In 1998, Nokia launched the 5110, which was hugely popular with the consumer market, and it incorporated replaceable faceplates, which Nokia branded Express on covers, making it the first truly customizable phone. In 1999 WAP launches on the Nokia 7110, making it the first phone capable of browsing the web albeit a trimmed down version which didn't provide the full HTML experience we know today. In 2000 the Sharp JSH04 becomes the first camera phone on the market but only available in Japan. Blackberry launched their 857 which support email and web browsing signifying the start of Blackberry's reign as the business phone kings.
Dot. Nokia also launched perhaps the most iconic phone of all time, the Nokia 3310. It sold 126 million units. In 2001, full-color displays start to hit the market, first with the Mitsubishi Trium Eclipse, but the Ericsson T68i. QWERTY keyboards also made an appearance in the shape of the Nokia 5510 but it was the 8310 that proved the popular phone due to its slick design and cutting-edge features including infrared, a fully functional calendar, and an FM radio. In 2002, Europe's first camera phone, the Nokia 7650, was released. T-Mobile, also announced the UK's first picture messaging, service available on the Sony Ericsson T68i. The 7560's 0.3 megapixel sensor gave you 640 times 480 pixels of color imaging. Two thousand three, the Finnish giant's best-selling phone of all time, the Nokia eleven hundred, hit the shelves and has since sold over two hundred million units. Three G networks begin to be rolled out across the globe, providing data transmission speeds three to ten times faster than two G. This enabled users to watch video clips, participate in video conferencing, and utilize location-based services for the first time. In 2004 Motorola launches the Razer V3 one of the most popular, fashion, oriented phones between 2004 and 2006. It sold over 130 million units and is the best-selling clamshell device of all time and arguably set the standard for future sleek designs to come. In 2005 Android, the mobile operating system was acquired by Google which sent the message the Mountain View giant was serious about mobile technology. The Casio Gazone became the first waterproof handset sparking a movement towards phones gaining IP certifications. In 2006 the Nokia N95 launched providing the first real smartphone experience. It ran on Symbian, had 160 MB of RAM, the world's first 5-megapixel phone camera, Bluetooth dot and Wi-Fi. June 2007 saw the launch of the first-generation iPhone. Unveiled by Steve Jobs, it featured an auto-rotate sensor, a capacitative screen that allowed multiple inputs while ignoring minor touches. Needless to say, it was an instant success. In 2008 the first Android phone is released called the G1. It has a limited touch screen and a slide-out keyboard. Elsewhere Microsoft decides to bin Windows Mobile citing that it cannot compete with iOS or Android. It begins work on a brand new OS, Windows Phone. Apple also launches the App Store with 552 apps available to download. In 2009 WhatsApp launches, its co-founder, Jan Kum Kum, came up with the idea, for the messaging, app during, movie night, at a friend's place. In Sweden and Norway, Telia Sonero becomes the first operator to offer customers 4G services. In practical terms, 4G boasts data transfer speeds five times what can be achieved over 3G networks. In 2010 Apple launched the iPhone 4, but antenna problems plagued it. In 2010 Google finally released a branded smartphone, the Nexus One. In 2011, Samsung cements their place.
as the biggest global smartphone vendor, thanks to the Galaxy S2 which packs an 8MP camera and an AMOLED display. In 2012, five years after the first iPhone hit the shelves, dot the fifth generation model lands in September. The iPhone 5 sells 5 million units in its first weekend. In 2013 fingerprint scanning went mainstream when it launched on the iPhone 5S via the touch button. In 2014 3G coverage is now available to 99% of the UK population. Elsewhere Facebook acquires WhatsApp for $19 billion. In 2015 Chinese firms Huawei and Xiaomi make strides in Western markets. But both Samsung and Apple continued to dominate with the Galaxy S5 and iPhone 6S respectively holding 38% of the global market share between them. 4G data traffic surpassed 3G for the first time. Although 4G represents only 14% of mobile connections in 2015, it already accounts for 47% of mobile data traffic. In 2016 Google ditched their Nexus branding and replaced it with the Pixel, releasing two new high-end smartphones, the Pixel and Pixel XL. Both are hoped to compete directly with Apple's iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. In 2017 Microsoft ends support for the Windows Phone OS, just seven years after its response to Android and iOS. Screen design dominance continues to rise. With Samsung Galaxy S8 and iPhone X adopting over 82% screen-to-body ratios, The focus on screen real estate sees the rise of the notch trend. The Sharp Aquos S2, an essential phone first to sport the feature before the iPhone X gave it true prominence. SMS messaging celebrates its 25th anniversary. After struggling to gain widespread adoption due to poor coverage, the service now transmits 22 billion messages daily. 2018 Chinese manufacturer Yulafone launches the Power 5 incorporating a 13,000 mAh battery, the largest ever seen in a mobile phone over four times greater than Apple's flagship. The iPhone XS Max released in the same year. In 2019 the UK and US begin to deploy 5G network, initial indications point to real-world data transfer speeds 10 times faster than 4G.